Yo oh guys, what's happening, Rockers? I just got this in the mail. This is my mail call for the day. It's a, U a UFO, the complete studio albums, 1974 through 1986. Now, for those of you who don't know, they're a very underrated hard rock, borderline for the era, heavy metal, I'd say, depending on how you look, depending on how you look at it. It's got the Phenomenon album, Force It, No Heavy Petting, Lights Out, Obsession, No Place to Run, The Wild, The Willing, and The Innocent, Mechanics, making contact, and misdemeanor. Get this out of the uh, out of the shrink. Now I'm usually not a fan of uh, box sets or remasters. I don't know if this is a remaster or not, though. To be completely honest with you, I think this might this might be. Maybe it is. I don't know. It doesn't really specify. If it is, oh well. I'm a big fan of the original presses, but in a case like uh, with a band like UFO. To get all of the chrysalis discs, 1980s era chrysalis discs, they're very expensive because honestly, they didn't really. They, none of their albums, I would say, are really considered big sellers. But if they were, if they were, if I were to get all the uh, chrysalis discs, they would look like this. These are the ones I like, either blue or black. I, I usually buy the ones with the blue writing. But yeah, that's what that's what these UFO discs would all look like if I were to get. The originals. Let's see what we got. Well, the packaging is a uh, pretty basic box set material, cheap. Go one album at a time. They have some bonus tracks on them, which is nice. But again, so this is a remaster, I'd say. There's your track listing. Doctor, Doctor, Rock Bottom. That's their debut. I should actually probably go in order, huh? Yeah. Who the track listing on this guy is? So yeah, this is. Definitely, uh, I paid 36 bucks for this box set. Like I said, that ain't bad. I and mean, you get every single one of their, their albums. At least, I don't think they, I think I don't think they had anything after 1986. I could be wrong. But usually with these 70s era bands, I usually don't follow them after that. Because usually the sound just doesn't pertain to me. I have a thing for like older music and older everything. And it's like, I just really don't have much much interest in most stuff that's new. Like, I'd honestly rather rediscover or discover for the first time classic bands and classic albums that I haven't heard yet, as opposed to finding new stuff. Because I really just don't give a shit about new stuff, to be completely honest with you. Like, every now and again, I, something comes out and surprises me, but most of the time I find that it's mediocre at best. Like I said, I'd rather take the time and hunt down forgotten hard rock and heavy metal albums from back in the day than listen to the crap that's coming out now. I know a lot of people probably disagree with that, but sorry, it's just how I feel. It's got some good jams on it, too. I, yeah, I think I showed you the track listening for Lights Out. That's probably my favorite one. This one has a title track. It's freaking amazing. It's awesome, and Too Hot to Handle is a killer rock and roll track, too. Obsession, that's got some good jams on it. Here's your track listing, real tiny. These are replicas, look like replicas of the original vinyl releases is what it looks like. If I can get this to freaking, uh... Come on. Now that you guys can't even freaking see that probably because I know I can't see it on the camera. I'm trying to get the zoom in good. There you go. It's about as good as it's going to get. It's that. Uh, yeah, you can barely even read it looking at it. Let's let you look at it on the back of here. I don't know what the hell you were thinking with that. That's your track listing for the Obsession album. That's crazy. You need a freaking magnifying glass. And I have 2020 vision too. 
I like a lot of these albums I never listened to, so it's going to be pretty cool to hear them. I don't know what the CDs look like. They're probably generic. They're probably generic looking, just like a typical remaster. Generic looking. Probably don't even have the song titles written on them. Oh wow, they actually do. Okay. Nice. It's actually impressive. Usually these box set releases just have the album artist and the band and the uh, the album name, and that's it. This actually gives you. Sorry about that, I had an interruption. Anyway, as we were. The Wild, the Willing, and the Innocent. The only thing I'm complain I can uh, complain about is how small the freaking writing is on the back. That one, at least you can read it. Mechanics. Yeah, I do. Enjoy, I do kind of dig the replica. The, that they're trying to replicate the original vinyl packaging. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so I just want to make sure you guys can re get a chance to look at everything and read everything too. UFO making contact. I don't think I've listened to any of these ones before. Like I said, this will keep me busy for a little bit. I like that I get to I get to hear some new uh, new old music that I haven't heard before. We got here. We have. There's your track listing. That's what we got with that. It's a 10 CD set. Looks like that's what all the discs look like. I feel like getting a kid. Yeah, what the hell? We'll go. We'll go for a quick copyright strike. <laughs> Why not? Just because I'm about it. Oh wow, we got to actually look at all these. Some of these are green too. That's crazy. I like that. Yeah, that's what? Four and four. Just a quick one. pissing YouTube off for the day. Oh, I'm gonna jam that after I'm done making this video. But yeah, it looks like that's pretty much what we're uh, what we're dealing with. We'll look quick at all the all the actual discs. Start with Phenomenon. That's neat. The early ones look like they're blue, and on the original H tracks and cassettes, well, H tracks mostly. Chrysalis pre uh, had most of their H tracks on green cartridges, and I actually have Phenomenon. To prove that so the first couple are green and then later on they switch to blue there's force it hmm. 
no heavy petting. I bet you the first five are, are green and the last five are probably blue. Okay, so the first four and then five through ten are, uh, are blue ones. I like how they're all numbered too. And so they put some decent detail into making this box set. I'd say for a box set, this is definitely above average. And the sound quality on it was pretty, uh, pretty good too. pause if there's anything you want to see in detail I definitely prefer jewel cases but like I said for 30 something for 36 or 37 bucks I have no right to complain about any of this and I have no complaints as long as it sounds good that's all I care about I can rip this into the computer and have it for my hard drive I rip all my CDs and lossless so I can because my wife's truck doesn't have a CD player, so I use my phone in there. I hardwire it, though. I'm not going to digitalize something in lossless format, only to lose a quality when I go to transfer it via Bluetooth. Whoever thought about the, whoever thought that it was a good idea to get rid of physical medium, I got to watch what I say. I can't say what I want to, but it should be beat many times with a blunt object, put it that way. One more look at the back. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, I definitely believe they are a very underrated rock and roll band, especially for, you know, from this era. So if you haven't listened to them, do it. I'm sure uh, my, you know, my diehard rock and roll fan followers, they all know who UFO is, obviously. But for some of my younger people or people who may have, uh, you know, may not have always been into it or just getting into this kind of music, maybe, um, you won't be disappointed. Check them out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. Let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Uh, yeah. And, of course, rock on. Also, one more thing I might add. It's nice about getting this. Uh, I also have the uh, receipt. I'm not going to show everything. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even show the price on there. I'm going to cover this up. But, um, yeah, I have this for uh, backup purposes. I'll keep this. That's a that's a store I bought it from. Import CDs on eBay. Uh, put that in the case. And a year ago today, I ordered my JBL L100 Classics. And a year ago tomorrow, they showed up in the mail. So I ordered them the next day. They came shipped out from Langhorn, PA, which is not that far from here. Like I said, I'm from Levittown, PA, originally. And um, yeah, so. They're from my old area. It's a two-hour drive. They showed up the next morning uh, on my birthday, actually, March 2nd, 1990. So I got this is my 31st birthday present to myself. I bought them a year ago today. They came in mail a year ago tomorrow. So I'm going to sell it. I work tomorrow. So, well, tomorrow night. I'll be sleeping all day tomorrow. So I will be celebrating the speaker's birthday with some UFO very loudly, I must add. I didn't buy a stereo system like this to listen to my music low. So, that being said, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.